What's up guys, it's Lorenzo with Quality Mobile Video. Today we're gonna to show you how to wire a relay. Uh, relays are typically used when you want to switch uh, a large amount of current with a small amount of current. So let's say we have this switch, uh, it looks nice, we wanna be able to put this somewhere in our dash, but we wanna turn on a large amount of current, maybe amplifiers, in this case we'll say a series of lights. We're gonna use this LED as our light or to mimic our light. And so now we'll get started and I'll show you how to wire it up. There's a couple different philosophies on how to wire a relay. Some switch ground, some switch power. We're gonna use an example that switches actually power and we have a constant ground to the relay. The way a relay works is a, there's an electromagnetic coil that pulls a contact in once the coil is energized. And this is just imagine a little switch or a little piece of copper moving in between two uh, copper rails in essence. Um, so that's how it works and basically electronically this is what ends up happening. So we'll go ahead and start wiring. So we're going to make a positive connection and all that's going to do is run electricity through the switch and the switch obviously switches positive and then we have our ground right here and that's going to be our coil ground. So we're just going to connect it to our relay. Um, on the relay there's a series of contacts. These are numbered. 87, 87A, and 30 are the current switching or what, uh, the, what you're actually going to be switching, be it ground, be it positive, whatever it may be. Uh, this relay happens to be a uh, single pole dual throw, so there's a normally open contact and a normally closed contact. The two outside contacts are your coil wires and you need to provide 12 volts to one side and ground to the other. So now that we have these two connections, we use this switch to control these contacts. So in a normally closed position, the 30 and the 87A are connected. And then when you open the switch, the 30 and the 87 make contacts. So I'll quietly try to operate the switch so you can hear the clicking of the relay. As you can see on this particular example, we made it fairly simple. Uh, we're just using one relay, just switching positive. Um, you can combine multiple relays to do door locks. You can do a series of other uh, type of connections to control all kinds of things and actually make timer circuits. There's a lot of ways to make relays do a lot of different things. That does it for our relay wiring video. Be sure to check out our other video on all the different relays that we carry. Visit qualitymobilevideo.com to get yours today. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.